Gallagher from uh, the Millennium Condor Ballad of Fusion podcast here with me. How you doing? I'm doing great, thank you. How are you? Uh, pretty good, a little hungover. <laughs> uh, uh, but that's visiting Montreal for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it is. <laughs> so, tell me, tell me about this event. Uh, what made you guys set it up? What's it all about? Um, uh, have you done many tournaments like this? No, nope, that's, uh, that's our first one. Ah, cool. And the Maiden Voyage. Yes, the maiden voyage. The, the goal was just to bring the, all of the communities together, mm -hmm. uh, make sure that, you know, give exposure to people. Uh, I wanted people from all around Quebec to uh, have a chance, and Ontario, of course, mm -hmm. have a chance <laughs> and, you know, to show their community, show their group, uh, mm -hmm. show their store where they play. That's why you see all of the, the banners and the people have their t-shirts and shirts and so on. So. Uh, it is fabulous. There's yeah. a lot of squadron love out here today. Yeah, we even have a guy that's uh, dressed like a pilot there, so it's, uh, uh -huh. <laughs> that's nice. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I mean, this is really exciting. Um, how far do the groups spread? Um, you've got people from, I thought oh. I heard earlier, ABTB? Yes, there's people from ABTB, so they drove I don't know how long <laughs> to get here last uh -huh. night. Uh, those guys are really nice. They are. Uh, a good guy, a good group of supporters for the, the podcast. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and we have people, you know, from Ottawa, from Toronto, from Quebec City, mm -hmm. from Drummondville, Trois Rivières. So there's people from all around. So people really answered our call for uh, because you know it's it's not uh, it's the size of a, a regional. Mm -hmm. So last Montreal regionals was like forty something people. Uh, right. Today we have fifty players. So um, yeah, I'm impressed. Yeah, it's even uh, bigger than than, yeah. than your regionals. And I'm nervous. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you nervous? This looks like a success already. Uh, so far, so good, eh? Yeah. I've, I've been working on this for a year now. So. Oh wow! Yeah. wow. Well, congratulations. Yeah, this thanks. Is great. Um, except for those guys from Toronto. I mean, <laughs> well, do they, they always come. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, we got the game starting here. Uh, I was just going through uh, JM's list. He's got Thweek. Looks like he has shadowed one of the other pilots. It's moved yet. Oh, okay. Uh, we've got a lock here, and it's in pole position. It's got uh, adaptability. Uh, doesn't matter if it goes up or down with that adaptability. An auto blaster turret, harpoons, and guidance chips, along with Boba Fett. So that's exciting. Uh, if uh, the lock gets a crit through on Corrin or Ahsoka, it can blow a very valuable upgrade off one of those ships with by uh, discarding Boba Fett. What would you uh, discard if you were the Boba Fett player? I mean, if you can get Corrin and knock R2-D2 off him, yeah. I mean, that's that almost gives you the game. Yeah. Right. I mean, it's worth trading that lock Revenant out, Revenant out just to do that. Then Thweek can hunt and kill these other ships. Um, so we've got Jake. I wasn't watching there, but he does have intensity. So he's going to be able to do... So it looks like he used Jake's regular ability and focused and barrel rolled. And now he's taking another focus. Okay, so the intensity gave him a second focus. Yeah. Either with that barrel roll or with this boost. Um, and what do you think of Jonathan's list? Uh, I feel it's a bit uh, brittle. Mm -hmm. Well, it looks like he's going to use Jake to try to flank. Yeah. Um, and there's no way that Jake without a missile is going to do a lot of damage to that lock. Uh, so it makes sense for him to go after one of the other squishier targets. Yeah. Maybe try to get some damage through on Thweek. Maybe on Dalen. But he's got to be worried about this missile strike here. He's got no defense against it. And Ahsoka and Corrin have both already moved. So that means that Dalen and Thweek will have choice of positions. So it's a rough matchup. Yeah, it is. Uh, I feel like uh, GM has a lot more hit points. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, he doesn't have any really good defense, but you have to chew through all of those hit points. And with a two dice attack from the A wing and from the Tie Fighter, yeah, it, it will take some time. And GM, of course, has two rounds of harpoon missiles on his side. He doesn't have extra munitions on the lock, so he's only got one missile there. But of course, he can reload with Dalen after he shoots his first volley. So this is going to be a rough match for Jonathan. Do we have comments? Uh, no. No. Okay. No, 
I, I talked to him briefly, but they're too close together for me to ask them their strategy. <laughs> okay. I didn't want to give it away. I'll try to do that in later rounds. But uh, Jonathan says that uh, he loves this list. He's mm -hmm. just a big Jake fan. Okay. And one of his reasons for playing it is just to play Jake, so we can get Jake on the table. <laughs> and do we know uh, from which community is Jonathan? Uh, Because Jean-Marc Cousineau is from the Bytown Smuggler yeah. in Ottawa? Yeah, Jonathan is from Montreal, apparently. Okay. That's well, why he's a lone wolf. I know the name, but I never met him. Yeah. Uh, he's a lone wolf. Okay, so no community. Yeah. So we'll see how the lone wolf does. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So he's keep... Okay. Jean-Marc is keeping his formation tight. Uh, I guess he will try to flank with Tweak at some point. Mm -hmm. I mean, with the, both of those Harpoon missiles loaded up and ready to go, mm. uh, pointing them at uh, Jonathan's ships is has got to be a terrifying prospect for Jonathan. Although the lock has to move before Corrin, so it might not get a lock if Corrin comes in fast. I can't tell if Corrin... And if you were Jean-Marc, who would be your first target? Um, I think I might try to wipe out Ahsoka. Just get her off the table so Corrin can't do any top of the combat phase actions. So as it stands, Ahsoka can spend a focus token at yeah. the top of the combat phase and give Corrin an action. And so if he hasn't already pushed the limit, that means he can barrel roll and boost yeah. at that time. Uh, which gives him... Uh, You know, the last opportunity to position yeah. out of all the ships on the board. But Ahsoka has the capture tie, so only uh, Dalan can attack her. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I would have gone for Corrin, trying mm -hmm. to wipe him out first. Uh, because with his double tap and his regen, I think is the, the one that, the, anyway, for me, the most scary. I mean, one other thing is that the lock also has auto blaster. Sure. Oh, you want to come in close. Okay. So, if it can land a block on Corrin, um, no, that won't work, because if Ahsoka spends a focus token at the top of the combat phase, she can always let Corrin move out of the way yeah. of, of a block, and hit, you know, uh, the, the lock might get a shot, but it will also get all that firepower back from Corrin. I mean, these sort of Corrin lists really do depend a great deal on where Corrin's enormous firepower ends up, which target you choose to go after first. So that's an important strategic decision. You've got a one bank from the lock. So I think he's going to stall this round. Jam is going to stall and attempt to uh, uh, att attempt to bait. Yeah, maybe uh, have him go through the asteroids. Yeah, or break his formation. Yeah. yeah. And you have to be careful also with Car and Horn not to use your double tap too early, so to make sure you can move away after that. Mm -hmm. I feel that Corrin does have to kill the walk first. Uh, having an auto blaster turret rolling around the table is just bad news. Yeah. Unblockable damage is something he can't afford to have around for the whole game. It's a really good list. The JM's list is, is, is really good, really solid. I was flying a lock a lot like this for a little while, um, and except I had Dead Eye on it, and it could kill all sorts of things. So he, if he's lucky, he could one shot the A wing mm -hmm. with an harpoon. Well, he's unlikely to get it in one shot, but maybe in one round. Yeah, in one round. Yeah. If he focuses his fire... Yeah, he can wipe Jake yeah. out. See, that's why I found it a bit weird. I know that he wants to uh, flank with the A-wing, mm -hmm. but he's splitting his fire mm -hmm. maybe for this round. Maybe the round after he'll be able to you know, come around, but still. Well, this Jake isn't going to end up stressed, unlike uh, Push the Limit Jake. Yeah, yeah. So he should be free to move pretty fast each round. So, Jake is deciding what to do with his second action. Uh, Barrel roll? Yeah. Yep, looks like it. 
Oh, he really wants to come from behind now. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if you can get Jake behind Dalen and just throw a couple dice at him every round, yeah. that's something. Eventually, it'll turn into yeah, something. Yeah, because the maneuver dial of the uh, of Dalen is really bad. You know, yeah. it's hard to move around. Once you have somebody in your rear arc, not rear arc, but behind you, mm -hmm. it's really hard to get out of there. Now he's done one straight to keep his options open. That's smart. So he's got to note, JM has to note, that uh, Jonathan has two focus tokens on Ahsoka. So any round that she's range one of Corrin, she can make a move. Yeah. And even if there's not a lot of important shooting this round, looks like Dalen is out of range of Corrin. That's great news for Jonathan. Uh, any round like this where there's not a lot of fire coming on Corrin, yeah. those actions can be used for a barrel roll to reposition him for the next round. And we've got no lock on Jake. It's going to be hard for the uh, for Jonathan to keep Corrin Horn and Ahsoka together because mm -hmm. of the asteroid that's just there. Yeah, I was trying to decide if Corrin should barrel roll left or right here after this round. Because obviously he doesn't want to stay where he is. No. Oh. So Dalen is going to roll back. Doesn't look like he'll have bullseye on Corrin which means no free lock. Uh, Dalen's ability uh, is to get that free target lock at the top of the combat phase um, with his pilot ability against anything he's got in Bullseye Arc. That is, he can choose one ship in the yeah. Bullseye Arc. I feel Jam has to be very careful with Thweek. Thweek is his endgame. Who's getting out of the arc of the A wing? I don't, I'm, not, I'm not sure he was in the arc at, fir at first. But. Wow, that's daring. He's left Tweek out there with no tokens. And what's, what looks like a range two shot from Corrin. Bold. Mm hmm. Okay, so Ashoka gives an action to Corrin. Corrin? Yep. Okay. And he takes a focus. I would be so tempted if I were uh, Jonathan here mm -hmm. to let Thweek have it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I mean, the Corrin's got fire control system, so the first shot might not be very good, but the second shot yeah. uh, will be with a target lock. So what is the music ring for? I'm not sure. I guess that's Thweek's shot. We've got a hit and a crit. That's got to be Corrin's dice. He spends his focus to evade it all. Why does uh, Thweek attack first if Jonathan has the initiative? Um, good question. That seems to be an error. Judge. <laughs> that's you, isn't it? No. No, 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 no. that's not me. <laughs> So it looks like Jake doesn't have a shot. Ah, so what happened is Jake didn't have a shot, and oh, okay. Ahsoka didn't take hers. Yeah, okay. She passed it so she could keep her uh, captured tie in effect. Okay, here comes Big Bad Corrin's shot. I guess they determined that uh, Dalen didn't have anything. We've got crit Eyeball, focus. Crit, and oh. Quad Blanks, but Auto Thrusters. So he is shooting at Thweek. Yep. Uh, is he going to remember to use Fire Control System to switch his lock? No. Oh, dear. Okay. And we have a primary shot from the lock. Through the rock? It's got to be. Yeah, that's a big fistful of dice. So focus is spent, and we have three hits. Torn has no tokens, but five dice. He gets two of aids. Takes a shield. So, I guess Dalen didn't have any shot at all? Hmm. I feel like Corwin's maneuver choices now are kind of limited. Yeah. 
he, he might want to regen his shield, so he needs to do a green. Mm -hmm. Can't go through the rock, so we need to do like a one bank right. Yep. It's the only green he has yeah. available to him that isn't going to land him on the rock. And after that, you know, his heart won't, won't be necessarily in the good angle. Mm -hmm. Wow. Plus, okay. that lock can get up in the way. Yeah. And if Corrin uh, manages to avoid bumping the lock, the lock can shoot him with the auto blaster. Yeah. Okay. So my move with the A wing would be a three R. Absolutely. Coming back. I'm I'm really curious to see what he's gonna do with Corrin Horn. I mean, he does have a couple of not so obvious, interesting options here. He could actually ignore. He could decide not to regen and slam entirely through that rock. And yeah. if he gets Ahsoka up within range one of Corrin, he can give Corrin actions yeah. at the top of the combat phase. Does this Thai Viper have a S loop? Oh yeah. Three or two? Three. Three? Yeah. I've been looking at uh, all the information for 2.0, yeah. so I'm starting to forget what goes on <laughs> with 1.0. Yeah. yeah. So when there's a question like that, I'm like, I don't know, I can't remember anymore. <laughs> Are you excited about 2.0? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Us, too. I mean, we're all very excited. I, I was not burned out mm -hmm. of first edition yet, but mm -hmm. I was starting to, you know? Yeah. So, so I'm, I'm happy for it. Lots of the changes make sense mm -hmm. a lot. Is it true that there won't be any guides on the bases? I think there are guides, yeah. Okay, a few, because... I don't know, I read somewhere that the guides are not there anymore, so you only play with the lines on the template and the base. No, no, absolutely, they are there. They're necessary okay. to use the templates. I, I don't think that's changed. Plus, we, we don't get new bases with the conversions. We just get uh, new cardboard. Oh, so we keep our bases. All right, yeah. that's good. Yeah, so all your hand-painted bases <laughs> are, are yeah. great. Um, yeah, I mean, Corn could just bail. He could just do uh, three turns to the right. Get that the would heck be out. the safe move, but still he can get blocked quite easily, I think. Mm -hmm. If he moves, tweaks out of the way and turn the lock in his way, and then with Dalen, I don't know, move, you know, just to get past the asteroid. I don't know, I feel Jonathan is in a bad spot right now. Yeah. And it's only turn two. Yes. <laughs> And he's stuck himself in an interesting... Jonathan has stuck himself in an interesting spot, I think, to bait an attack. Yeah. To try to get uh, Jam to commit. Mm -hmm. But it may not work out for him if he can't get out of it. Uh, Thweek has advanced sensors. So he can actually respond fairly well to whatever Corrin does. If he has a one straight in there program for Thweek... Yeah. He can do one of the barrel rolls of duckery, friendly barrel barrel rolls, the twisty barrel rolls, yeah. as they're variously called on the internet, um, and probably still get arc on Corrin wherever Corrin goes. Yeah. The trick is, is that if Ahsoka is there and she has her two focus, Corrin will be the last to take his actions. Hey, it's going to be an interesting round, that's for sure. Yeah. It's a lot of uh, metagaming when everybody gets actions crammed in towards yeah. the end. Yeah. I think they're ready to go. Mm -hmm. So we have a turn. That's a good move. Yeah. He'll be able to barrel roll more in Jonathan's direction and stay close to Corrin if Corrin does do the two bank. Yeah, and yeah. <coughs> nice. <clears throat> it also keeps the uh, lock in a position where it can turn left so it can go after Jake. Here. Yeah, there's a lot of exit route for him, so. Yeah. And it's a really good skill to. to to, to pick up an X-Wing to think about your exit routes over yeah. the next couple rounds. So whatever engagement you have, you're thinking, oh, and I can go left between those rocks to get out, or I can go take a bank three to the right. Do you think he's doing a barrel roll right now to try to block Karin? Uh, you know what? I think I would have stayed there. Mm -hmm. Maybe take the 
one range shot, but be able to you know use uh, the turret because now if he bumps, mm -hmm. the lock won't be able to attack him. Yep. Anyway, we'll see. We'll see. Well, the thing is, Corin will want to do his thing with Ahsoka. If he bumps, Ahsoka will give him an action and he'll barrel roll off the lock to shoot somebody and yeah. get a target yeah. lock, probably. But I can see the maneuver, so we'll see. If it's a two straight, it is. No, it's a three. Yeah. He's trying for the uh, right. turn. Right, so through the rock. No. Oh, he's not going to make it. No. Is he going to land on the rock? Wow. I don't know. Oh. They're positioning it. Looks legal. Wow. Oh, they're discussing it. Well, we'll just have to wait in suspense to see what happens. Judge! <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Okay. Seems they agree it was good. Oh, maybe not. Uh, maybe the, no the knob is in the way, or uh, whoops, not no. It may Once be one of those cases where somebody slipped something a little bit, nudged yeah. it, and now they're not sure, and they have to just yeah use yeah. a procedure to decide. I would go with fist fight. I think. Yeah. 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 I mean, that's the most fair. Oh yeah. Yeah. Let the strongest win. You know. So. Yeah. Fist fight or just age? I usually ask. I usually say age because I'm <laughs> one of the older people in our group. So okay, Corin rolled for the damage and got an eyeball. Took none. Or no? Uh, okay, well, still no damage for Corin there. So he can't do any actions because he hit the rock. Yeah. So Jake. Jake is doing nice. the three turn. Okay, so I guess his uh, main target is Sweet. Thweek, so. If I were him, I would not assume that Thweek is going to be there. No. No, he's doing a barrel roll. I think he's going for Dalen. This is an interesting build for Jake, but it doesn't give Jake the ability to target lock and focus. No. The action he does has to be a focus, and he can get focus of aid out of that, or focus, focus. Yeah. So Dalen is the predictable target, and he's yes. going to try to land on him. I don't know if Dylan does uh, like a, a th three straight. Is he going through, through the uh, the rock or is just passing by? I think so. It's always hard to tell. Yeah. On the screen. Okay. Okay. So I guess he's gonna barrel roll. Oh no, he may still still be in range one. Yep. Okay. So he takes the double focus for Ahsoka. And we should keep in mind that Dalen and Thweek can shoot her if they want to. Some sort of discussion going on. So how big is your uh, community in the Millennium Condor scene? Well, if you look at the discussion group, it's <laughs> over 900 members. Okay, wow. <laughs> yeah. That's and enormous. Yeah, it's big. The Patreon is good. It is a, there's over 30 something uh, supporter. That's fantastic. Yeah. And you guys have a lot of supporters from uh, other French speaking parts. Yeah, of the world? there's yeah. Uh, yeah France. There's mm -hmm. a big group of supporter in France. Awesome. Uh, we have somebody who's also, also in French, Guyana, Guyana Française. I don't mm -hmm. know how to say that. Uh, uh, Guyana. Yeah. Okay. Some people in Belgium. Mm -hmm. Some in French, Swiss. Right. So no, we're uh, Switzerland. I mean, yeah, no, no, it's uh, it's going around. It's fun. That's great. The, the goal of the the podcast is to bring together the French speaking community mm -hmm. from all over. So, mm -hmm. and I'm surprised because we're the only one. Yeah, that's that's amazing. Yeah, I think there's a big scene in France, isn't there? Oh yeah, oh, yeah. yeah it's big. 
I guess they just don't have... I mean, it's a lot of work doing a podcast or doing a stream. It is. It takes a lot of time and energy. And there's basically no uh, financial reward. You put no. a lot of energy oh, yeah. into it. Yeah. And, you know, if there's no one there who wants to shoulder it, then there's nobody... Exactly. Who because wants to do it. without the Patreon, I would not be able to do this because yeah. everything comes out of my pocket. And even with the Patreon, you know, I, I pay to do my podcast, so... All right, so we have the straight well, maneuver. So barrel roll maybe to get out of Corwin's arc. Yeah. yeah. It would be very nice to stay there and get the free target lock and focus uh, from Dalen's ability. And then uh, take a focus and just get yeah. the free target lock later. But it would also be really nice not to get shot in the face by Corrin <laughs> twice. And then Jake as well. You know what? I'm a kind of a Timmy player. I like offense and stuff like that. I would have stayed there. <laughs> yeah. 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 Me too. But uh, somebody asked, why don't they fix the overlay? What's what's wrong with the overlay for you guys? Is there something that you can't see or don't see? What's Tweek's move? Yes, Tweek. Uh, Tweek has mirrored whoever is on the other side, so he's mirrored either Ahsoka or J Jake. So he's nine. Which is why he's going after. Yeah. Or shadowed, rather. Sorry. Uh, so there's some questions here. Oh, okay, yeah. So do you think that Corrin is in lethal, dan lethal danger? He's going to take the auto blaster and what looks like two range one shots. So yes, I do. It's a nice skill box. But he hasn't taken any actions yet. No. So he can boost and evade. Yeah, he could get out of Dallin's art, that's for sure. Oh. Why, why didn't he spend the focus with the Soka? Captured Thai, so... Something is... He's attacking Dallin. Okay. Ahsoka is attacking... Uh, uh, Dalen. Maybe they checked to see if uh, Ahsoka was range one of Corrin and he was, or she wasn't. Okay. Yeah, I didn't see any template go down to measure that range one. So we've got one crit from Jake onto Dalen. It looks like. Direct hit? Is that it? I'm not sure. It was there and it's gone. That was a good choice to shoot with Ahsoka there. Uh, it's a good choice to have a direct hit also. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we've got the range one from Dalen onto Corin. This is bad news. Looks like three hits. Corin has no tokens, but he rolls two evades. But he's also rolled four dice, which is not the correct amount. Yeah, why four? Uh, I think they've realized it and are sorting it out. Oh, here's the judge. Disqualified. <laughs> it's funny because we had a question like that in the last quiz, mm -hmm. Millennium Lore Master quiz. So, Corrin manages one evade and will take two damage there. Now, he did a three straight, so I believe he's on no shields. Thweek on Corrin. Thweek on Corrin. And Thweek has a target lock. This could be the end for Corrin. Oh, we have hit, hit, crit. So Corrin needs evades here. He needs <laughs> natties. Go, Corrin. He has, gets one natty. Math is being done. That last one is a crit, so even if he managed to live, he's going to take a crit. Crit is being flipped. Is that the old damage deck? Yeah, I think so. I didn't see what that was. Looked like damage sensor array, maybe. Let's see in a minute. Well, I guess Corrin's still alive. So no fist fight. Oh no, but there's the auto blaster on the lock. Yeah. So. 
So all the auto blaster needs is a hit. Yep. And Corn is. Oh no, no! 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 <laughs> oh man! So close and yet so far. I guess that's the end of the round. So uh, Jean-Marc won that won that round, if you ask me. On the yeah, it was a very bad position for Corin to be in. Yeah. Weapon malfunction on Corin. So it could be worse. So that's one minus one on the attack? Yeah. Wow. And he needs to roll a die to fix it. So he needs a hit or a crit. Yeah. But Corrin's going to run away for a while. And the scum ships are going to have to find a new formation. Yeah, Dylan's going to go through the, the rock, so that's... Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's not that bad. He's hurt, but... Yeah. He could do a Talon. Yes. Or a K. Well, K is bad. But they can all hunt Ahsoka now, so that might be an option. I don't, I don't know if it's going to be hard for Ahsoka to regroup with Corrin. Mm -hmm. Because she might have to go through a, a rock so she won't get her focus. I think if uh, I was Jonathan, I would just do a five straight with Ahsoka. Yeah. Just regroup the, the turn after that. Yeah. yeah. And just two bank with Corrin and boost and evade or something. So let us know, stream, what you think. Can Corin, Ahsoka, and Jake come back from that? How certain is the outcome? Yeah. Zweek is in a strong position. Yeah, so, you know what? Even if Corin regen a shield, you, you will still only be at, you know, two hit points. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, that's a hard place. Yeah. Both of the guys with harpoons, though, can't point at him. Or will have real difficulty pointing at him. Yeah. Yeah. It's all on Jake's shoulders now. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's going to be hard because Ahsoka, Ahsoka and Jake, they don't have that much firepower. But that's rebel regen for you. If he can keep Corrin alive yeah. and kill one ship with Ahsoka and Jake... Yeah. Then, you know, he can come back. Okay, we've got a Talon roll. So, okay. Jean Marc has not made the mistake of thinking that he's got this game in the bag. He's no. staying aggressive. Yeah. Because the Lock Revenants still have a three dice attack, even, even if he doesn't have target lock or focus. Mm -hmm. It's three dice, eh? You never know. Yep. And consistently throwing three dice every round at targets will get through. Yep. Oh. oh no, Corrin is bumping. So I guess now he would need the action from Asoka, but He's I don't see that happening. No. Yeah, that's a rough spot. He's making hand gestures as though <laughs> something tragic happened. Did yeah. He, did he make a mistake on the dial? Oh, you know what he might have done? He might have. Uh, made a mistake in order of activation, as you sometimes yeah. do. Thought Corrin moved after Jake. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. What's happening? I think it might be dial confusion as well. Meanwhile, aggro Jake is going to try to solo the list. <laughs> <laughs> Go, Jake! <laughs> Two dice primary for the win. Okay. So what do you predict for uh, Thweek? Uh, One forward? Yeah. Maybe a two. That's also green. Jake is getting a range one on the lock, but that means the lock has a range one auto blaster sh shot on him. Yep. So maybe he's trying to block the Star Viper also? Maybe. Uh, maybe not. But he can't block. Oh no, Advanced Sensors isn't active this round because of the stress that yeah. he has. Yeah. 
So he took one focus, which got him a boost with Jake's ability. And he's chosen not to use intensity, I guess. Oh no, Ahsoka is bumped as well. Uh, that's a rough turn for Jonathan. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure about the placement of the TIE Fighter though. Yeah. And we see the Talon. Is that on the down. rock? I think, eh? Oh yeah, that went through the rock. But it's a Talon, so Dalen yeah. doesn't much care. Oh no, it was a three turn. No. So no damage from the rock. So something funny that might happen here is uh, Jean-Marc might have just assumed that Corin would get out of there. No. Never mind. <laughs> He's going to kill Corin. <laughs> Week most likely will grab a target lock or something here. Yeah, there's an option for uh, Jean Marc because you know he can choose to try try to finish Corrin with the Star Viper and then use the lock revenant on Jake. Yep. So here we go. Jonathan shooting with Ahsoka, I imagine. Nope, it's Jake. No, he doesn't use his focus. Right, which he should have because the focus can't help him at all versus an auto blaster shot. Yeah. I think we got one damage from the lock. It's a beginning for Jake. It's a beginning. Yeah, it's a beginning. Ahsoka on the Star Viper. Go, Ahsoka. Man. Two hits. She's throwing hot fire. Look at that. She She's punched. pissed, man. She's pissed. I mean, this, it's this, PMS, you know. It's a <laughs> this Ahsoka and Jake are like the toughest Ahsoka and Jake I've seen in a long time. Yeah. All right. And here this is the end it. for Corrin. The murder shot. Uh, looks like uh, Thweek took a target lock, and he'll need it because those are some awful dice. Oof. And that looks like three. Yeah. And we have so. two damage going through on Corrin. Surely that kills Corrin. Another damage card? Yeah, he's done. Bye-bye, oh, Corrin. Yeah. So Corrin only attacked once in the whole game. Did one damage? No, it didn't go through. So that's uh, that's hard. Still, he's been backed up by uh, Jake and uh, Ahsoka throwing yeah. hot fire. I mean, they've really done some work here. Yeah, they're they're like Chihuahua, you know. <laughs> <laughs> they're biting and. Yep. So maybe Jonathan can catch up with some MOV in this game. Oh wow, we have a primary shot from the lock. Yeah, Jake doesn't care. Primary shot's not going to hit Jake. <laughs> and we're back to dials. So I see you've got a whole bunch of prizes here, a lot of participation prizes here. Uh, from oh, yeah. all over. This is fantastic. Who's yeah, that's what you got there is what all the players got. Uh, got. You know, mm -hmm. they, they had the tyrannical the alt art that was, you know, drawn by one of our uh, one of our league member in the Condor Squadron. Mm -hmm. wow, you got OCX. Beautiful. OCX sent us the drunk SSL Tromek. That was really nice. Some stickers. We have the alt art for uh, Sabine Ren and Dark Vader. Mm -hmm. With, yeah, it's in French. No? <laughs> it's all in French. Mm -hmm. And you guys, since you're from Toronto and doing this, I, I'm, I throw in the the Patreon exclusive. Oh 
Oh, wonderful. Thank you. Three pilot card. Oh, it's know? three. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. And it's from the movie TIE Fighter from mm -hmm. uh, Paul Johnson. I've seen it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they're great. So it's Gamma Squadron. Oh, it's the Gamma Vet. Yeah. And uh, Saber Squadron and Black Squadron. Wow. That's such a great video. Oh, yeah, it is, eh? Yeah, these are lovely. These are wonderful. Let's uh, see if we can't get them on the stream, get pictures of them on the stream later sure. on. So we're only missing the doll from the Star Viper, I think. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot that we can do here. Since he moves after Ahsoka, he can program a one bank and then use a barrel roll to get a range one on her. Yeah. Jake is flying in the other direction. He can do a one turn. He could do a K turn. Yeah, and Jake is not in a, such a good spot either because he has the rock right in front of him. Yeah. He has to strafe, and that's not great. Because these other guys, most of them anyway, yeah. move after him, he can get into a position where he can think that a shot is likely, but he can't be sure. No. And then he has to disengage and come back. So he is doing the one turn left. Oh. Oh, he's doing the one turn right. Oops. Yeah. I think Jonathan's a little nervous. Probably yeah, you his can, first time on yeah, stream. Yeah, and you can see his hands are shaking, so... I mean, mine shake when I'm on stream, but that's, I've been on stream a lot. It's just because, you know, I live hard. That's <laughs> <Yeah>. why. <laughs> All He's doing a boost. He's thinking about doing a barrel roll. Uh, did he just boost twice? Yeah. I think Jonathan is a new player also. Yeah, he seems to be. The best thing for Jake to do here is just try to keep Ark on Dalen. Bring yeah. him down. If he can't finish the rest of the list, at least he gets 32 points uh, in exchange for his Corrin. It's interesting, a lot of the strategic decisions you make in a game like this are soon going to be completely different in 2.0. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because all of these ships can go to half points. Uh, if this were a 2.0 game, Jonathan might just try to half point each of the other guy's ships and yeah. run. Yeah. So a lot of the chat is rooting for Jonathan because he's a new player. Also, he's flying Jake. I mean... He Jake. has guts. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's style, guts. You know, we have a, a player in our league that he's a new player and doesn't have all the ships, and mm -hmm. he plays only what he has. Mm -hmm. So sometimes he comes up with really weird lists, mm -hmm. and you know what? He owns his shit because <laughs> he, uh, he, he's happy with that. He doesn't want to borrow shit from anyone, so kudos for that. That's cool. I mean, you can usually always borrow something from somebody. Yeah. Usually somebody won't mind. But uh, I also respect flying your own ships because it's what you've got. Yeah. And you can usually tell the people who are new in doing that because they do stuff like put uh, shield upgrades on their T-65. Yeah. And it's like, that's great, that's great. You know about integrated <laughs> astromech, right? <laughs> <laughs> so Dalen's just getting out of there. And what is Thweek doing? Uh, he's just taking a target lock and doing a sleep. Solid. And did Ahsoka bump again there? I think she did, so she has no tokens. Ouch. Thweek can wreck her in one round. Uh, so Open Boat says, hopefully second edition makes the mix and match lists more viable too. I hope so. Yeah, I agree. Especially for Rebels, that first wave is a lot of mix and match stuff. They'll yeah. have the U-Wing, they'll have the uh, Y-Wing, and they'll have the X-Wing. Mm -hmm. And, and making stuff out of that can be 
Should be good. Oh, we've got only one, one, one damage three. for Ahsoka. And the lock doesn't care. It'll take a shield. Whatever. And since we don't know the cost of the ship yet, mm -hmm. so it's hard to say if something is broken. Yeah. Uh, I've heard a lot of people talking about the YT 200, uh, 2400. Mm -hmm. And they say it's too strong. But we don't know the cost. Maybe it's, it's going to cost you a third, two third of your list just to have that ship. So, yeah. Ouch. Three hits on Ahsoka, and she has no tokens. She needs to roll an evade. She gets one, one, so she takes two damage. It is one haul from death. Things are not looking good for the Rebels here. I do hope that the 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 265 is cheaper than it was in the original game. Yeah. So the, the the math that they assumed would be smart in the when the game started was. So it's the uh, Lock Revenant against Ahsoka. And she's now he's using the auto blaster. It's one hit. Ahsoka is gone. What's happened? Did Jonathan just concede? I think Jean Marc told him uh, remove Jake or I'll, you know, break <laughs> her jaw or something. Nope, Jake's still there. He can do it. I would I would really go for the fist fight though. <laughs> At this point, it seems in Jonathan's best interest. <laughs> I mean, I didn't size the guys up, but you know, I, I think it's probably better odds than Jake against all of this. Well, I would go for Dallin. That's, mm -hmm. you know, four points. That's yep. it. Bring him down. I mean, he's got to worry about that lock catching yeah. up to Jake and shooting a harpoon at him, too. A harpoon with Boba. So he could take auto thrusters off. <coughs> if he gets a crit through. Of course, if you get a quick crit through on an A-Wing, it's very likely dead anyway. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, because you know that now the lock revenant is gonna go between the rocks. Mm -hmm. We might just follow, mm -hmm. and Dallin will, you know, try to go away as far as possible. So even if the A wing is fast, mm -hmm. it might catch up with uh, with the lock uh, with the lock revenant. But well, he's gonna get a range three shot maybe. Mm -hmm. So you know, it's a bad spot. Yeah, and the lock, like you say, is gonna three bank target lock Jake. Yeah. And if you know, GM is bold a bit. He might try to do a K turn with the Lock Revenant. So all no, of the. What do you mean with Dalen? Uh, Dalen, yeah, sorry, Dalen. So. Yeah. Yeah, I'm excited for B Wings as well in second edition. It's going to be fun. Here yeah. he comes. Let's see if he locks. He does. Yeah. Yep, it's the right call. And he's probably going to go uh, shipwright with Dalen. So even if Jake does get a shot, he's got to enter into the space the lock has covered. Yeah. Oh, that's uh, bold. Surprise! Yeah, so he's not going after the after Dalen. Hmm. I think the lock might still have a shot. Yeah, he's just doing three turns with Dalen. Well, maybe he wants to get Thweek. He's not going to get Thweek, not with the firepower that Jake no. has. I think now we're going to see a Tokyo Drift. Yep. That is good for Jake, though. Dalen must either... No, it doesn't matter. Dalen can just take a token. He's got advanced sensors. Next round, he can get out of that spot. And it's a range two shot through a rock, unmodified for Jake, so. Yeah, target lock from Dalen on to Jake. Either way, it's through the rock, so. Yeah. This range two, so it means no auto thrusters for either of them. So he's going against the Star Viper. Looks oh. like it, yeah. And he gets one hit. Yeah. And Dalen gets two of AIDS. Or Thweek, rather. Thweek returns fire. And we have... Target lock. Target lock. So. Looks like two. Jake gets 
One of aid has no focus to spend. Nope. Auto thruster? Well, he thinks so, but they're not actually at range three. They're at range, range two. two so range two. So auto thrusters didn't work. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. So they're correcting for us. I feel bad for Jonathan. I think the fact that he's on stream is making him nervous. Yeah. Yeah, because just before the game, you came and see me and say, thank you very much, Bruno. <laughs> <laughs> Look, your first stream experience has to be harsh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that, that's the only way you learn. Yep. So, no. No arc. So the outcome of that is Jake should have taken one shield. From what we could tell, anyway. Rolling for something. Maybe they decide if it's range three or or two. Uh, in arc, okay. Okay, okay. So that was the question: was did the lock have arc? And I guess they rolled a die and decided no. I mean, that is a measurable thing. You should really check. You've got range rulers, and if range rulers aren't you can't figure out how to do it with range rulers, call a judge. Yeah. Because, you know, I mean, X-Wing is a precision game, and you can figure out whether you actually are in arc. So give it a shot. All right, so they're... Okay, with Jake, there's not much option either, so maybe try, try to get out of the way to come, come back next round. Yeah. But still, Tweak is going to do his thing, and... He's going to be in the arc of somebody, that's for sure. There's so many things we can do here. Uh, a friendly barrel roll, then a sloop puts him just about anywhere he wants to go. Yeah. And he'll do it after Jake. So Jake well, can't catch him, and there's almost no way Jake can dodge his arc. No. And we have what looks like a three turn here. Maybe a Talon. Yep. He's getting turned around. And he's got that lock from last round. So if Jake ends up anywhere in this lock's range two to three, he's eaten a harpoon. If he's range one of the lock, he eats an auto blaster shot. It's bad news. <laughs> bad news, yeah. But it's, it's one of the reasons that that lock build is so brutally good. Um, because you've got nasty things to do to somebody at every range. Yeah. Looks like Jonathan saw it coming, though, and he does a five straight to get the heck out. That gorgeous green three straight. Oh, sorry, five straight. He's taking a focus to use Jake's ability and boost. Now, he can also get an evade with intensity, right? I'm not sure why he keeps taking a second focus in all circumstances, but intensity allows you that choice, focus or evade. Yeah. So, okay, so that was a boost, and then barrel roll. You know, at this point of the game, I would have tried to stay where he ended up after the five straight, just mm -hmm. try to block, tweak. Oh man, Dalen's coming back too. And he hasn't spent his harpoon. And he's got a like lock on Jake. <laughs> now it's fun to fly an advanced censorship, like Kylo or one of these guys. Yeah. But it is I always feel slightly bad when we reach that point in the round where my ship goes and I've got the advanced censorship. I'm like, okay, I'm just going to take a minute and rethink everything. everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, even if you're in a great position, you could be like, but there could be an even better position. Wow. That's such a great maneuver. Now, of course, he's taking advantage of the 1.0 barrel roll for the last yeah, time. Yeah, he can slide it wherever he wants on the yeah. base. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, nice, nice move. Yep. You can see that the kill box is forming itself. Yep. 
so we got Jake on one shield. And we got Thweek shooting at him tokenless. It is range two, however, so we won't have auto thrusters. And he gets hit crit. And on the other side, we have triple blank. So Jake is on one hull, and the crit was something with text. I was unable to read that. So Jake will have four dice here and auto thrusters versus yeah. the harpoon shot. So he might just make it, but he needs to make it completely. All right. If he gets two blanks in there, he's toast. So it was a minor hull breach. So it doesn't really matter. No. Nope. <laughs> His is hall is quite breached now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so is that it, it? Oh, it crit. He's got guidance chips. And target lock. Oh. So he gets what he needs. He yeah. gets the four. All right. All natties. Yep. You can do it, Jake. Uh, he does it. Missing one. Yep. Yeah, if he would have taken the evade token... Yeah. yeah. All right. Oh, so you give us a big round. Yeah. Button. All right. Go, Jonathan. The internet has believes in you. <laughs> <laughs> so it's done. No, no. Jake survived. He got what he needed. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, in that situation, because he had auto thrusters and a focus oh, token. Oh, the auto thruster. Yeah, okay. He would live so long as he didn't have two blanks or more. Okay. And he just got one and wow. survived. Wow. But it's a bad spot. Yeah. We got Dalen coming in already, target locked. We got Thweek right on a six. Uh, and Jake's on one hull. And he's got 14 minutes remaining. So we have my lovely wife here. This is bringing us food. Oh, wonderful. Uh, I'm going to take a snack, please. I'm good, thank you. All right, so I guess it's going to be like some kind of K-turn. You know, like yeah. desperate move to, to have at least one attack. He doesn't have much else. He's got 13 minutes to try to kill somebody. He's not going to get tweak. No. Yeah. The target should be Delen. Yeah. So three turn and come at him fast and hard. The lock's not going to be doing much here. Yeah. No, it's going to be week that's gonna go like a three bank or something like that and then land maybe a straight two or yeah land just before the rock and I mean, this is exactly the point in a round where uh, you need to start thinking about time even if you're uh, Jean-Marc and you know victory is almost certain yeah uh, because it can be the difference between killing Jake and not killing Jake if you don't kill Jake in a long tournament uh, that's going to make a big difference. Oh, yeah, your MOV, you know, it might be just five point apart yep. from the cut or whatever, so yeah. Yep, and that will make you cry. When you're five <laughs> points away from the cut, yeah. that makes you cry. Uh, so we got what looks like a four straight for the Lock Revenant. Fist fight, fist fight. <laughs> All right. So we'll have a damage for the rock. One damage. That's uh, almost completely negligible tax on the hull and shields yeah. of the lock revenant. I mean, the the uh, scourge 
even leaving aside Nim, was a very powerful ship compared to the other ships when it came out. Ten health, three primary, a turret slot, and yeah. then missiles on top of that? Yeah. That was so much. And crew? You can put and crew? crew. Oh, yeah, it's, uh, it's not as bad as the Jumpmaster 5000 when it came out, but still. Yeah. I'm interested to see what they do with the Skurg. The Skurg's upgrade slots with 2.0. Yeah. I wonder if they'll give them the turret again. I've heard that the Rebel Nim is not there. Is that true? Yeah, he's gone. He's gone. And Scum Nim is not going to be what he was because there's no TLT. No. There's no harpoon missiles. And everybody drops bombs at the same time. So it doesn't matter if you're yeah. PS uh, Initiative 1 or Initiative 6. It's all egalitarian. Yeah. Everybody drops them at the Maybe he's going to be like a trench fighter, you know, mm -hmm. close combat. Yeah. Get in, get punched all the way, but you give yeah. punch and, yeah. I don't think we've uh, seen Scum Nim's ability spoiled yet, so we'll see what that is. Oh, he's getting away. Yep. Uh, maybe he's trying to save him, save the points. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. If he really thinks he can't get yeah. Dalen. And they don't seem to be like slow playing or anything, so no. it should not be a problem. Oh, uh, that, there is a kind of order. <laughs> to, yeah, sure, thank you. <laughs> All right. So, so he's still going to be in, the, in his heart. Yeah. Maybe far, but still. And I, I don't think Dallin managed to have his bullseye arc on anybody, right? No. But he did get some range one shots on Corin, so... Hey, Heza, how are you? I'm glad to see you're watching the stream. All right. Here we have the boost. So we're doing six rounds today with no cut. Six rounds, no cut, because I didn't want to do like two days. Mm -hmm. uh, so the winner is going to be determined by MOV. Yes. So we have prize for the grand winner, which Ooh. will be the Alpha Condor. Okay. So he has a trophy. He has a, a plate. Mm -hmm. You know, a, like a, a plaque. Yeah. A plate. Uh, he has a templates with the tray. Oh, nice. Uh, and all kind of stuff. Stickers, is that cards. Custom or is it? Uh, yeah, it's custom. Wow. Yeah. We should get some, uh, we should put that up yeah. on the uh, stream. And since we have Hesa Graf from Back to Dials on the stream, uh, I mm -hmm. just want to say thank you because he's one of our sponsors that sends us a lot of stuff to mm -hmm. give us prize. So thank you, Hesa, and thank you, Back to Dials. Now, Back to Dallas is one of the old school. Yeah. The old school cast. Okay, that looks like Dalen is shooting the harpoon. We've got, once again, four. So, once again, well, if Jake can roll... Oh, no, I think it's just three. So, if that was just three, he's fine and lives. Unless he's forgotten his auto thrusters. Yeah. I think that GM is kind of coaching him yeah. as the game's going along, so that's really nice of him. Yeah. So th that's what's nice about this community. He's not trying, you know, to quash him, he's mm -hmm. trying to help him at the same time. Yeah, jump on him for forgetting his auto thrusters and then yeah. go, you lose. Yeah, exactly. No, that would be a horrible visit, uh, video to revisit <laughs> in your X Wing career. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Okay, I was surprised that uh, JM did that there. I thought maybe he would hold on to the harpoons and just do a one bank this coming round and try to go for a better shot. Yeah. But, I mean, he's got Thweet coming in fast. He's got seven minutes to get one damage on Jake.
uh, people on the chat are demanding that Back to Dials do more content. I agree. Do more content, Back to Dials. More. So what would you be flying today, uh, Bruno, if you were flying? Uh, I, I usually fly the both Shadowcasters. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's, my, that's my list. It's a really cool list. I mean, I hate it. Uh, <laughs> because I hate that friggin' Shadowcaster title, pushing my ships around. Yeah. But it is a very interesting, deep tactical list. Yeah. There's a lot of positioning that needs to be done, a lot of forethought. Uh, and a lot of utilities and control with those guys. Yeah, you have a lot of options. That's yeah. what I like. Yeah. And, you know, at Canadian National, not, not the last one, but the one before that, I went mm -hmm. like four and two. Mm -hmm. And it was really, uh, I had fun. Yeah. yeah. It's a fun list. And you had uh, Katsu and, uh, and Asajj? Yes. Yeah. Yes. At that as well. Yeah. But, you know, now with all of the harpoons and stuff like that, it's a bit harder. And, you know, I don't have any spike damage. So. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to do all the work every yeah. round. I mean, the tractor beam, double tractor beam helps, but you need two arcs yep. on that target. Yeah. Um, do you use countermeasures? Yes, countermeasure, yep. glitter stim. Yeah. Engine upgrade on both. Yeah. So. so do you have VI or something on no, uh, Asajj? No, no, So my, I have pushed the limit on both of them also. So. Okay. It's not the usual build. Here comes Aggro Jake. In your face, Dylan. <laughs> in your face. Jake and his ship that is, uh, you know, holding together with duct tapes and... Uh... Rebellions live on hope. <laughs> he's gonna well, he's, roll. Well, he's doing a good job of staying out of arcs and, you know, yep. not getting three attack per turn, so... Well, he said Jake was his favorite ship. Yeah. Maybe secretly, subconsciously. He wanted Corrin to die so Jake could do it all. Oh, by and get out of the glory. Be the hero. Ah, nice. Now, if Dylan do, does a K turn, it's bad news. Yep. It's a very good position for Jake this round. If uh, Dylan doesn't do the K turn, then he's not getting a shot. So what's that? Contraband cybernetics. Oh, okay. Oh, man, I think he's doing the K-turn. <laughs> so contraband cybernetics will allow him to take an action even when he's stressed. At the cost of yet another stress. stress. But at this point, I don't, I don't think he cares. Yep. Nope. He's going to do it and have the range one shot. Oh, does he have the uh, bullseye arc? Really tough to say. Oh, he doesn't have an action, though. So he can barrel roll. Okay. Or, yeah, he can barrel roll, and then... We would need a laser now. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure the barrel roll gives him the bullseye. Can he have uh, the target luck, even if he's stressed? Yep. I believe it's an acquire. Yep, he's just taking it. I guess they measured the... Oh, no, he took a normal target lock. Target yeah. lock. Okay. So if he doesn't do any other action than that, only one stress. Yep. Okay. I mean, he's so close to having Jake in his bullseye. I would have gone with the focus just in case. Yeah. All right. We got a three bank out of tweak. Yep. Three bank and lock. Wow. So we're going to have like seven dice coming at Jake here. And Jake has a focus. Well, can he pull another miracle? <laughs> he has to. He has to. Yeah. Go Jean-Marc. <laughs> Go Jean-Marc. Uh, Guillaume, oh, Guillaume is rooting for his teammate. Yeah. Yeah, you dirty out of town guys. Looks like Jake is shooting his big two dice. 
Go, Jake. Oh, tough decision, Jake. Right. He's spending it. Oh, he's got two. Yeah. I didn't see the second one. And whoever it was just dodged it. Wow. And okay, no. Okay. He should have checked at the top of the combat phase for that. But it's okay. So there was no bullseye. So as close as that looks, that's still not in the bullseye arc. And it was garbage. It's rolling again for two, three. Can Jake live? He needs all paint. He oh. doesn't get it. That's Game it. over. Uh, well, he hang in there. He did. He did his best. He did. There was some hero Jake action there. Yeah. It wasn't quite enough. So, you know, good job, Jonathan. Yeah, good for job. First time on stream. And congratulations, Jean-Marc.